So I'm with the, the one and only Luke, producer Hosey. Welcome, Luke. G'day, Dan. How are you? Well, I think there are a few boys on the old um, frothings today with their Mad Monday. Yes, the giggle juice would be flying around a lot of uh, <laughs> lot of clubs today, mate. Probably couldn't get many people in for their interviews today because they're probably out um, having a, yeah, having so a way out of time. A little, so. bit, little bit difficult today catching up with people. So, um, and good on two. It's been a great year, a long year, and um, sort of a few rounds to go. Div one and uh, one for Div two, and uh, from Division three down is all finished. So. We'll start with Division 7, and I think the Flinders University are probably praying that it's their season's all over, I think, mate. We started off with the... They took on Century United. Yeah, shocking, shocking year for the Crabs, mate. Mm. So, um, they finished bottom without a win, but hey, look, they're out there having a good time. That's what Abbott's yeah, League's all right. about. So, you now the University, hopefully the University can get some more kids out there and they're having a kick and a catch. So, but it was um, Century United, 11-14-80, uh, defeating Flinders University, one goal nine, and unfortunately... That did not do the trick for Central United in the five. They finished in sixth position, so they are out. They'll be hitting Mad Monday today. So. Yeah, they'll be on the giggle juice as we speak. That's right. So, but the goal kickers for uh, Central United was Purcell with two, Porter with two, um, Frith with two, uh, Kazinza, May, McMillan, because we read out the singles too, don't we? Yeah. Luke, so. Yeah, bring out, read out the singles, mate. Exactly, good. mate. The others just they cut all, it out halfway. Everyone likes to hear their name mentioned. Yeah, exactly. So um, Rizima and Palmer with individuals, and the best players was Lewis Garner, Kazinza, and Rizma and May. And for Flinders? Yeah, Williams was the only goal scorer. Yeah, and, right. um, One goal nine. For... Yeah, Pardo, Nitschke, Dehus, um, uh, Haynes, Perry, and uh, and Howie amongst the better players for, for the Crabs. You know. Pretty, pretty average sort of year for them, and they'd be looking forward to 2019 already. I think they would be. So, uh, and we had the next game. It was um, Morrison Lakes take on Golden Grove out there at Morrison Lakes. So a little bit of a derby out there. So Morrison Lakes took out the the winners there. It was 15 40 104 defeating Golden Grove 11 7 73. So good win there to Morrison Lakes. That did put them uh, after that win. They finished fifth, so they just snuck in there in fifth spot. Uh, the Eagle would teach you but finished fifth, obviously, with, on percentage. So We did some interviews out at Morrison Lakes yesterday, mm. and uh, the Oval was in shocking condition. Yeah. Is that unusual? So, mm. But uh, anyway, for Morrison Lakes, but Richards with six, nice uh, little six bag there. Yep. Uh, Novacell with four, um, with Henry with two, Salter, Keist, Van der Brink with the other individual goal scores. The best players, Delbridge, Richards obviously with six goals, Novacell, King and Salter. Yeah, for Golden Grove, they had Simmons with uh, five, Lim with three, Brooke with two, and Tula with a single. Um, better players were uh, Darwin and McPhee, Gusling Green, and Tiss. They were the better players. So, um, yep. so yeah. enjoy Mad Monday, boys, and we'll see you next year. Well, Morrison Lakes, they've still got finals to play. Oh, mate. sorry, they've, they've got finals. Oh, my bad, they did, Sue, so yeah, that's my bad. They're, but... they're playing this weekend. Yep. Um, we head out to Peter Ingrove. We took on Mitchell Park. They've had a bit of a poor year, unfortunately, just the two wins. It was a uh, teacher grade 17 goals, 18 and 120, defeated Mitchell Park, 4 goal, 4 28. So, teacher grade, they finished in fourth, uh, obviously, equal with Mawson Lakes. So, um, they'll obviously go through at the minute. They'll play Mawson Lakes this week. Yep. But, That's um, Volcana. The Correct, it is. And uh, yeah, it's got teacher grade with Wicks with three, Daniels with three, Forsman with three, Wilson with two, Noski with two. Fraser, Agostino, Kopetschke and Thompson with individuals, with best players. Wicks with his three goals. Turner, I think Wicks is um, a great player as well, so yep. he's probably coming down. Played, played league footage too. He certainly did. That's good to see him having a kick in the seas just with his yeah, mates. Yeah, ever since he stopped playing a about, yep. about four years back, he's been playing, he's still having a kick in the seas. So. And that's what you'd love to see too, that guys do yep. come back, they don't want to retire together, come back play seas with their mates and have a kick in the catch. And they may take out the final year, just never know, finishing fourth. Yep. We've got Doyle, Flynn and Wilson, uh, they're the best players. Yeah, from Mitchell Park, the goal scorer is uh, all, all singles. We had uh, Williams, Clark, Nate McDonnell and uh, Nelson with singles. We had uh, Ross Brackenshire, the, the coach, yep. must have put on yeah. the boots and he was best. And gave himself best too. Um, <laughs> Dixon, <laughs> Dixon second, I used to play cricket against Ross. Mad, yeah. mad left arm quick. Um, uh, Davies was third best, uh, Showcroft and Clark. So, uh, yeah, a year that Mitchell Park would probably uh, think good and dusted and out of the way. That's and right. 2019, and here we come. Consolidate for next year, absolutely. So, but they'll be uh, hit the turf somewhere and probably a, a sponsor, no doubt, of a, a pub. So Somewhere along the line that, yeah, lads will be out having a, having a drink today. And uh, thoroughly deserved. Anyway, we head out to St. Paul's, took on those Beach. Which uh, this was a I'm not sure if it was an upset. It was. 
Well, I reckon Wells. They're only Simon's Beach were undefeated, so this is their first loss for the year. Yep. And they actually, I keep, think this is a, a, a hiding too. Ten goal five sixty five St Pauls to three goal seven twenty five. Now we don't know what in town at Sunderland's Beach did they rest players, but why would you do well, that coming to the finals because they've well, got they this, got week, this off, week off, off yeah. as well. So two weeks is probably a bit silly, but um, look, we don't. It was a, a terrible day for, for any sport really because it did hail a few times. It rained, it had rain, hail and shine, all sorts. But, but if you're gonna if you're gonna lose a game, absolutely. you're better off making it round eighteen yep, next absolutely. week, and it gives the coach and the coaching staff something to work with coming yep. off a loss. And we can talk about that division six because that also happened that there too. Certainly so, did. Um, I reckon coaches like having a loss. I wouldn't like to be a coach. I think coaches are a bit nervous going into a final eighteen and zip. Yeah, too so, good. Uh, yeah. But uh, they're only lost, but hey, look, they're still finished. They've got the week off this week, so they can rest up as well. Yep. So we've got, um, it was St. Paul's, we've got Pennington with four. Yeah, this is English with Darcy. Nasseruddin. Nasseruddin, yes. Yep, three, Davies, Cullinan and Morska. And uh, the best players were Davies, Nasseruddin, Werfel, Charlton and Moraska. Yeah, for a Sullivan's Beach long star, we had goal kickers were uh, Kalian, Clark and Devonshire. Better players were Hall, Godfrey, Whitney. Devonshire and uh, and Murphy, so yeah, um, only lost for the season, so they'll be primed for two weeks. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. yeah, it's fine. And the last game of the round is a Marion take on the Houghton Districts. No surprises here. It was Marion. Um, it was twelve goals, six seventy eight. Um, the feeding Houghton Districts four goal nine. So I'm not sure what happened here. So there we go. So Marion, they finished fourth, third. Uh, for, this is their first year in Amateur League. Yeah, so out of the Southern they, League. I think they got that right from the Southern League. Third in Division Seven. So yeah, well, I, uh, a Southern Beach long star and Marion come in, yeah. and both sides have not won anything for many, many years. You know, um, they were real strugglers, and you know, Marion had gone years without winning. They yeah. slotted in Division Seven just nicely. And, um, winning games. That's all it's about. Just winning a few games, get some comms back, get some uh, get the traction Nothing players. worse than year after year yeah. after year getting belted. So, um, yeah. as they were. So, they've actually come in, they've got a competition that suited them, which is Div 7. Yeah. They've acquitted themselves quite well. Once finished top at the minor round, they're on third. They're going to do it a bit tougher next year. One of them will, or maybe two, if they go to Div 6. So, yeah. you know. They come in at an ability level, haven't they? No, it's, it's great they've done that. So uh, I think it tra so. attracts players. They're winning games. It's all good. So anyway, for Marion, you've got Wade with seven, McCullum with two, Sanders, Bayzand, and O'Day in amongst the individual goal scorers there with best players yeah. Sanders or Saunders, I should say rather, Wade, McCullum, Cave, and Wilden. Yeah, for uh, the mountain, uh, the mountain men up there, we had uh, Cough with two, Johnson and Anderson, all with singles. Uh, Rayson, Schultz, Cam Schultz and Davis Hall and Sharp were amongst the better players for the Mountain Men. That's Up the one. Houghton. Yep. Now I'm going over to the fixtures. It's this not... week there's a big one out at Volcano Oval, mate. Um, yeah. Up there at Volcano where uh, Teacher Gully, who are, um, I think they finished the minor round in fourth. They, they did. They take a, here it is here. So they take Morrison Lakes. Lakes. So look, I, I would still think Teacher Gully uh, the strongest side there. Uh, look, you see the amount of XA grades they're playing there. They're, they're there for a reason to win a final. They didn't quite get this double chance, but I think are they going to consolidate? I think they're going to take. They would do more snakes pretty easy. Yeah, it's a big day up there at Teacher Gully. They've uh, up on the top level. Um, oh. They've got so Teacher Gully in Modbury in the local derby because we're doing a live broadcast of that game. So uh, down on the bottom oval, they've got the Division 7 final, so it's past players day, so it's going to be a oh, huge day out at Gullies as well. Massive day, absolutely will be. And, and uh, that's a one o'clock start, so we're both thinking Gullies will get up there, I would have thought. Yeah, I think, yeah, agree with that one. And the other game is uh, St Paul's take on Marion. Uh, St Paul's finished on um, 14 wins and 4, with Marion 13-4 and with a draw. I still, uh, St Paul's, they, they beat Osama's Beach, they, they, I reckon uh, St Paul's here to take on Osama's Beach the week after. Yeah, right in the crest of the mm. wave, aren't they? They're at the school, Marion have got to travel, um, I would think that, uh, that St Paul's would get the job done. Yep, I agree. That's all we all the best for the finals this week, the first week of the finals already. And, uh, and that's at the college too, that's it the is, finals yep. at St Paul's College, yep. so yeah, good luck to all sides playing finals. And have fun, all the boys are on Mad Monday. Thank See you. See you next week.